What's up guys, it's Dylan here from FIFA Choice bringing you my Benfica career mode. Sorry guys that we haven't been uploading lately, but now that the new FIFA is out, uh, we'll start uploading on a regular basis. So um, today I'm bringing you a Benfica career mode. We're going to be a manager and hope to win the Liga Noj. So let's, let's set everything up. We're going to be Benfica. Let's start. So world class, I'll bring it down professional just to be on the safe side. Six and a half, so I'll bring it down to five just for quicker videos in the future. Everything lenient. Currency, we're going to bring it to dollars because I am in the USA, so it's just easier for me to deal with things. Stadium. We still don't have the Benfica Stadium. Sorry to lose, but I mean, this will do. And preseason tournament invite. I will advance. I do want to be part of this. So here we go. We got our... European Continental Shield, not a bad difficulty. Uh, potential prize money, 10 million. That's not bad, a little over 10 million. We got some pretty, some pretty good competition in our, in our group stage. Our group, my bad, sorry. And over here we have European International Cup. Location and difficulty, England, not a bad difficulty also, it's all the same. And a little over 10 million also on this one. Good competition. And then Champions Trophy in Spain. A little over 10 million. And also, again, not bad teams. Uh, definitely some competition. So uh, I'll just go choose one of these. I'm just going to go with... This is not bad. I'll start with this. So here we go. The main menu. Really looks nice, by the way, from FIFA 15. I really just like like the new look, cleaner. But there's the starting lineup that we usually start in real life. And we got some transfers, all that stuff. But let's go to a squad report and check out some players. So we got Julio Cesar. Most most times he starts. Usually on a rare occasion, nobody else, anybody else starts, but. Julius Caesar, usually a starting keeper. No suspensions, nothing. Greater on keeper, not gonna lie. Brazil, he's from Brazil. And next we have Nelson Semedo. He is a youngster. He is very young, known for his pace also. He actually started not too long ago for Benfica. He, they're trying him out and uh, seem, they seem to like him. So. That's him. So we have a right back there, Luizão, center back. You guys, if you guys know about Benfica, you guys know Luizão. He's been, he's been here for longer than anybody else. Captain, Lissandro Lopez, uh, another great center back. Ilizil, left back. He came from uh, League Vivier a couple of years ago. Uh, Andreas Semres, great defensive mid. You know, really. Always stops those attacks in the middle. Victor Andrade. I really don't know too much about him. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he came from Liga de Brazil. Also really young. Value is 5 million. That's not too bad. Nice and cheap. And 19 years old. Let me just go through the age real quick just to get you guys with that. He's 35, 21. Another, as you can see, really young. Uh, 34. At 25 years old here. 31. 26 and now 19. So Nicholas Gaetan, another great player. Actually, he was um surprised he didn't end up going to Man U since Man U had had their eye on him for a little bit, but he actually ended up staying. Great player, known for his really good dribbling and all that stuff. Argentinian. But he's 27. You got PZ center attacking mid. He's 25 years old. Uh, okay form. Montralugu, he is new to Benfica. Benfica seems to be liking him. He's uh, Lima's replacement as Lima left Benfica, unfortunately. Really great player. Really liked him. But, well, he went on to big and better things. But yeah, um, Montralugu, he's not bad. He really isn't. He's been starting quite a bit last couple games. Next, we have Jonas, his striker, his... Uh, there's, they usually play a two-striker formation, and it's usually Montreligo and Jonas. Jonas, um, he's been doing great for Benfica last season, this season even. 
He actually, guys, he uh, appeared on Team of the Week 1 with his inform. And um, he's 31 years old, value 19 million. You got Feja. Feja is Serbian, I believe. And another great defensive mid along with, um, with uh, what's his face up here? Uh, Samaraz, my bad. But them two in the middle, they really do work. They put on a good, uh, a good defensive role in the middle there. And we got Gonzalo Gedge. This man has been really getting looked at from a bunch of different clubs around the world. Um, everybody says he has great potential, and I I can't disagree. He's got great potential. I can see him being a really big star uh, in the future. He's a left mid. His value is 2.8 mil. Really cheap player. 18 years old. Already starting on Benfica and already getting spotted by other teams. That's, that's really great. You can already see the potential in this player. Anderson Taliska. Oh, a lot to say about him. Well, he... He was at, like, he did the really good last year. He was really at his, like, at his peak. And then, like, as you know, if you guys had FIFA 15, he got that big upgrade from a silver to a gold. And everybody just saw a lot of potential in him. And this year, he's been on the bench. He hasn't been starting. And I don't know. He did have a really nice long shot a couple games ago, if you guys want to look that up. It was a really nice long shot. But just not too much from him, like. You know, you have Jonas, you have Montreligu now, and I mean, if they could really send him off to another team, it'd probably be better for him, get more playing time, but I don't know, just maybe worth another season, see what he can do. And then we got a uh, pretty young goalkeeper, Ederson. I really haven't heard much. I am actually a Benfica fan, but I haven't really heard much about him. Uh, I knew we needed a sub for uh, Julio Cesar. I know we did have uh, Paul Lopes, but I don't know if you guys know, but Paul Lopes is already getting on his late forties, I believe, or late thirties. I late thirties, and I don't know. I just that's not like you guys can't rely on Paul Lopes that much. So they needed another goalkeeper. I guess they went with him. Really don't know too much about him. Twenty one years old, but that's him. And Raúl Jiménez, another great player, came from Atlético Madrid. Great um, target man. He's really good. He actually scored a nice header, I think his first game. His first game for Benfica. And he has a value of eight million. Good form. And just uh, guys, like it's me going through this list, you guys just have to put in the comments who you guys would like to start, who I should bench, who I should give more playing time to, who I shouldn't. Just so I get a good idea of like the squad we can start with and continue on. But we got Andrea Almeida. He's 24 years old. He's a left back. Um, six million value. He's not too bad. Uh, really good in the back. We really need those good defensive uh, outside backs, especially now that Maxi Pereira left. Kind of traitor. He uh, went to Porto. Big controversy there, but hey, whatever, whatever, whatever suits their needs. To be honest, but. We have Duricic. He actually was on Benfica not too long ago, a couple years ago, and now he's back. And not too much I've heard. I haven't heard too much from him, to be honest. You know, he is 23 years old. He still has a lot of time to turn his career around and start being better than what he is. But 7.5 million value, not too bad. Eduardo Salvio, the right mid. If he's been injured, he's been terribly injured and. They actually thought that he was going to be back sooner, but they went for a surgery, and he just came out worse. So he's going to be out for another season. It's really unfortunate since he's such a good right midfielder. 19.5 million value. He could have been, along with Guy Tan, getting searched by um, other big clubs around the world, but uh, just it's just unfortunate that he won't be able to play. And then, you know, all that recovery time, all that time, I don't know if he's ever going to be the same, but I, I really hope he is. Uh, we have Silvio, 27 years old. He's a right back. Another great, you know, he's already getting into his 30s, but he's not doing too bad for what he is. Five million value, okay form. Uh, we got Gonzalez. Not too much I heard from him, not going to lie. 26 years old, 4.2 million value. Um, he... 
He's a right midfielder. As you know, I, I'm sorry, I, I really don't know too much about this guy, but that's him. A Delta Rapt. You have the five star skiller himself, Delta Rapt, 26 years old, 13 million value. Big surprise that he came actually from the Premier League, from QPR, to uh, Liga Norge, Benfica. It was a big turnaround for him, but I mean, he's not doing too bad himself. He actually had, uh, he's been having more playing time here than he had there at QPR. That's pretty good for him. Jardel, a uh, big defender that we like. We always like to have. Always like to start. Sorry there, but uh, eleven point five million value. Uh, him and Louis Zhao in the back. They really do work good together. It's always good to have them in the back. You can rely on them a lot. Uh, Nuno Santos. Just reading his name, I really does not ring a bell at all. Uh, I don't know too much about him. All I know, all I can tell you is what you guys can see. He is. Uh, 20 years old, right mid. He is a either a silver or bronze. I can't tell. 68. That's a silver. But uh, 1.6 million value. Form is okay. Morale happy. So he's he's happy where he is. Even though I really haven't heard too much about him, but that never means anything. We got João Teixeira. He is a 70 overall. He has 21 years old, center mid. 2.3 million value. Uh, really haven't heard too much about him. You know, these players probably starting down here. Yeah, all these players, they really don't have any too much playing time. But we'll still go over them just just to go over them. We have uh, Old Cheeks, or I don't really don't know how to say that. But he's 17 years old, wicked young. Um, 1.3 value, right mid. These players are probably mostly found on Benfica B, the B team for Benfica. But they still have a chance to come up to Benfica once in a while, so that's why they're here. We have Victor Lendilov, also another player I haven't heard too much from. 20 years old, center back, and he's 1.4 mil. Uh, this Polish kid, I really don't know how to say that, Dodd Dakowitz or something like that. He's a CDM, but a lot of people say that he's a really good um, CDM. You you can expect a lot from him, and I hope I hope that's true because he's still twenty, he still has a lot of time to prove himself, and I really hope he does. And here is the player I've been looking for for the last couple of guys. We got Brian Cristante. Now this guy has crazy potential. He's twenty years old. He's a center mid. He's Italian. He has three point six million value, which is excellent for a 20 year old that doesn't get too much playing time but you just hear a lot from him all the time you know Cristante this Cristante that and I really hope that he gets his stuff together here at Benfica gets some playing time and then gets sent off to a nice team like maybe even Premier League Lee BVA Serie A I'd love to see him playing in one of those big clubs like that but just a great player like huge potential huge potential and here is what I was saying earlier. This is the third string keeper, Paul Lopes. He's been at Benfica forever also, just like Luis Al. Uh, 37 of age, goalkeeper, $550,000 value. He is happy where he is, which is kind of weird. But, I mean, hey, if he's happy, it's all good. We got Bebe. He's actually on loan to Liga BVA. I'm not sure why he's still... Oh, are these loan players now? I think, yeah. These are all pe uh, players that are on loan. But, so that's everybody else that we sent off in the last year or so. Great players, not going to lie. I have uh, Nelson Oliveira, Pele. He's he's really good at the center defending mid. $5.5 million value. Um, Bebe. And Bebe is probably the one the most potential around here in the, the ones that we sent off. We have 24 of age, 2.9 million value. But that means nothing. We have nothing to do with these guys anymore. We this from here up is where we're focusing on all the players that we're gonna use. So here's all the players, just to go through them one more time, just so you guys can see and pick out who I should start, who I should bench. And um, I really need you guys' opinion. Tell us what you wanna see, like who you wanna start, what I should do, more games. Do I keep this? Um, do I keep career modes going? Uh, Brian is also doing a Porto career mode, so you'll be seeing more career mode from him also. And just tell us what you guys want to see. You want to see squad builders, you want to see player reviews, you want to see more career mode. 
And like I said earlier, we're going to start uploading more and more now that FIFA 16 has came out because, you know, with the price ranges and all that, all that bull uh, on FIFA 15, it kind of ruined the game. So I'm sorry if we upset you by not uploading, but it was just nothing to upload on, basically. But we're back and just, you know, tell us what you want to see in the comments. Tell me who I should start. Tell me what I should do. Uh, same thing goes to Brian. Brian's going to upload a, a port through career mode. So tell him what you want to see. Tell him what you want to start. And it's been Dylan. Peace.